Hi everyone, I'm Dawn. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting with me today. So I wanted to do a little um, kind of gnarly look that I wanted to show you using a homemade um, application. This is a flower with just some lotion in it. It's going to make something very similar to modeling wax or sin wax. Not quite as good as it and not as long term as sin wax but a little easier to work with and really good if you want to kind of prank somebody or something i'm just going to show you one thing you can do with it which is to me it's really gnarly and gross and what i'm going to show you you can do on your face i'm going to show you on my hand and um, i'm just mixing up the compound right here um, i'm using a chopstick i would actually recommend just getting like a plastic spoon and use that instead and for this, you want to use just all-purpose flour, whatever flour you have. And cornstarch would also work really good, but you want to use twice as much powder to lotion or Vaseline. Vaseline makes actually a, ver a better um, compound, but I didn't have any Vaseline, so I used lotion. And after you mix it up, you want to take it out and kind of knead it together. And right here, I'm just adding in some foundation. Um, it does not, it ends up not mixing too well with it. I would recommend if you want to do it this way, put everything in like a Ziploc bag um, and just kind of knead it together until you got the perfect consistency and color you're looking for. Um, it's not even necessary to do this because I'm going to cover it with makeup once I apply it anyway. And now I'm just kind of kneading it all together to just kind of um, blend it all up better than I could with the chopstick but and as you can see that makeup is just kind of getting marbled in there but it's okay because once I apply the put it on my hand I do put foundation over it now it's pretty much ready to use I'm just going to use my chopstick to um, get me a chunk to use um, and then you kind of want to ball it up in your hand a little bit Make sure you have the right amount. And it's best to work with small batches if you can. And you just want to spread the compound across the area of your body you're using it on. Like I said, I'm just using my hand. Um, and uh, this is not for long term. This is just, like I said, for a prank or if you want to do a little photo op, a gnarly photo op, this is good for that. And you just kind of want to work with it, smoothing it out. If you need to, you can use a little bit of the lotion you use to help smooth it out. Or a chopstick. Um, like put a little lotion on the chopstick. And I'm rolling the chopstick along it to help it kind of smooth out and blend in. Now, it's okay to use the lotion that you used in the compound because you're not adding a new substance. You're using what you've already used in the compound. But you just don't want to use too much of it. Just a tiny bit at a time. And now that I've gotten it smoothed out, I'm adding um, foundation to the surface and I'm just kind of dabbing that on to help blend it in a little bit. And now I'm using the smaller end of the chopstick to kind of poke holes into it. Now you can use, I, I would recommend, I'm just using the one end of the, the um, chopstick but I would recommend using things of varying sizes so you can have kind of a ununiform look and it will just make it look extra nasty and just I'm just covering it in these little little holes if you have tryptophobia I recommend not watching this part and then I used a little bit more foundation to kind of help blend it out a little bit more it's obviously not going to be perfect or even very realistic looking, but at first glance, it's going to be a little surprising. And um, the photos, if you take photos, you know, they can be edited to, to look realistic. I recommend Beauty Plus for smoothing it out. And then my favorite part, we're just using um, the skinny end of the um, chopstick to just put blood in some of the holes. Um, I did, I think I said this at the beginning, I don't know. I think I tried filling the holes in originally with black, or no, I did that today with black, and it just ended up making a big mess, and then I'm like, ah, it'll look better 
I kind of think it looks almost like not the hole so much, but the the um, the texture of the product just kind of looks like what they used on the Toxic Avenger and the Toxic Avenger movie in the '80s. If you're familiar with that at all. And here I decided to do a little more. And um, you do want to work with tiny, small batches, you know, a little bit at a time. So, um, so you can see, you know, if you want to, if you decide you want to add more. And actually, as the compound sat, it seemed to smooth out better. And see how that blood is getting over there? It doesn't matter. Um, you don't want super perfect because perfect is just not fun. And then I'm just rolling that um, over again to help smooth it out some. And then I'm going to go ahead and cover that with the foundation, the same process I used before. And that was just a real quick look at how to do something like this. It's gnarly and gross, and it does look hokey and fake, but I think that's all part of the fun. Uh, just wear long sleeves with it if you're trying to fool someone. But that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe and check out the rest of my videos. And I will talk to everyone later. Bye!